Alright, this video is picking back up off the last video. Now, you know what's sad about you, Marty? You claim to be the king of Akron. But we all know nothing you ever done has been done out of the kindness and the goodness of your heart. Everything's been about greed with you. Every single thing you've ever done has been about greed. You know, when, when all this started, when all this started, I didn't know what to make of it, but now I do. I want to tell you something. When my best friend and little brother Zach was shot and killed. And I promised his family, who is family to me, when I promised his family that I would continue on his legacy and uphold the lessons that he taught me and the things that he left behind for me to carry on and for his family to carry on. When I made that promise to Zach when he was killed, when I made that promise to carry on his legacy, I meant it. When I made a vow to carry on my older brother Bill's legacy when he passed, I meant it. When Paul Walker passed away, the man responsible for car culture in general, one of the most important people in the car culture community. When he died, I made a vow to continue on his legacy. And I've done all those things. I've carried on their legacies. Why do you think I rocked the number 23 on all my fucking cars? Why do you think I rocked all of Paul Walker's cars through the Forza series? It's one thing that you need to understand, Marty. And what you trolls need to realize is this. When it comes down to racing, it don't matter whether it's in real life or on a sim rig. Racing is racing. You guys do it to try to, you know, be greedy scumbags. I do it to carry on a legacy. I do it because it's what I'm passionate about. I do it because it's what I love. Racing's in my blood. Okay? My older brother got me into that culture. My older brother introduced me into that life. And I'm proud that he did. Because some of my best friends and some of them are some of the most amazing teammates I could ever have in the world were introduced to me through the car culture, through games like Need for Speed, Forza, and all these other titles. And I'll tell you right now, I have some of the best teammates in the fucking world. I couldn't ask for a better team. I couldn't ask for better friends than Devin and my boy Sonder or any of our fucking team members. I couldn't ask for a, a better group of brothers or friends, period. Straight up. But not that you would know what that's like, Marty. I mean, every time you go against me, you lose. Every time you go against me in a race, you lose. And all you tried to do when you did that shit, you weren't trying to do it to be a good sport. You were trying to do it to prove that you were a king of Akron. But really, you don't have the traits of a king. The traits of a true king 
is on something you possess. Because a true king, a true man, doesn't go around bullying people, harassing people, attacking people, slandering people, assaulting people, trying to kill people, murdering three innocent women. A real man doesn't do that. A real man does what he can to take care of his family, utilizing whatever he has around him. And that's exactly what I've done. Until you ripped it away from him. And that's the difference between me and you, Marty. I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to make a living for my family. And to get my career back and to fight for my loved ones. But you? You just want to sit on your ass and watch time fly. You don't care about anyone. All you care about is money. Because you're a greedy, fat, old piece of shit. That's all you are. You're an internet bully who's greedy, who gets his cheap kicks and laughs off of bullying people and extorting and blackmailing motherfuckers. Let me tell you right now, fat ass, all that shit is going to come to a head in you real soon, and it's going to stop. So Marty, my advice to you, stand down. Stand aside, or me and my team comprised of Sneaky Jim and all his boys are just gonna run right over you. Take your pick. Honestly, if I were you, I'd run. I really would. I would run. Because these guys, they're the no fucking around motherfuckers. They're the no fucking around people. And they've made it very clear that they will stop at nothing to put an end to what you guys are doing to people. And they have my support. Anything they need, I will do for them. I would do for them just like they would do for me. What they would do for me is the same shit that I would do for them, that I would do for my boy Devin, that I would do for my boy Sonya, or any of my friends and family. Any of my friends and family. The same shit I would do for my friends and family is the same thing that I would do for them. Whatever they need, I got their back. Because unlike you, Marty, and all you other trolls out there, these people have showed me something that none of you ever had. Which is kindness, compassion, understanding. A sense of what's right and wrong. So do yourself a favor, Marty. And fuck off. Because like I said. My team's coming. And we're going to stop all you motherfuckers from doing this to anyone else ever again. So be warned. It's game on.